the Lord, boys and girls, and welcome back to Sunday School. It is so good to see you all. I'm Sister Casey Fisher, your primary class, ages five to eight teacher. We are going to learn so much again together this quarter, but before we jump in, you all know how we like to start off our quarter, how we like to start off our lessons by giving thanks. And tis the season for giving. Tis the season for giving. We will learn about the ultimate gift this quarter, which is Jesus Christ. God gave his son. But before we get into any of the lessons again, let's get started with telling God thank you, with giving thanks. What are you thankful for? What do you want to let God know you appreciate? What is it? Anything at all. You can get it in your heart, get it in your mind, and just reflect on it. Think of how good God is. And we're going to tell him thank you. On the count of three, is everybody ready? Oh, I see some of you are not ready yet. I will wait till everyone's ready. Just give me a quick thumbs up when you're ready. Perfect, awesome. Now, when I get to three, I want you all to shout as loud as you can. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to feel it all through your body. I want your parents to hear it, your friends to hear it, your neighbors to hear it. I want everyone to hear us telling God, thank you. Thumbs up when you're ready. Awesome. One, two, three. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, you guys know that is my favorite thing to do. Tell God thank you. Just like you like to be thanked when you do something for someone else, God likes to be thanked as well. So tell God thank you each and every day. It is always the right time to tell God thank you. So now that we have told God thanks, we are going to let God know what we need from him today. What do you need from God? Or someone that you love, someone that you care about, what do they need from God? Someone that you've seen out and about, it may be a stranger, someone you don't know, but you don't have to know someone to recognize that they need something. And you might not always be in the position to fill that need for them, but God can. He is king. He is Lord over everything. So God can answer any and all prayers. So what do you need from God today? Is it patience? Is it to be more loving? Is it help in school? Are you looking to be a leader? God can help with all those things. So we're going to put those thoughts in our mind too, or hold them in our heart. And we are going to go and ask of God. We're going to take the thanks, the things that we are thankful for, and we're going to combine them with the things that we need and they're asking for. And when we put those two things together, that makes prayer. That's right. It is that easy. All prayer is, is thanking God and asking God for the things that we need. We put those two things together and we've got prayer. So. Let's get ready to pray. Everyone close your eyes and bow your head. Lord, we have come and we have told you thank you for Lord being with us, protecting us, Lord Jesus, providing for us. We thank you, Lord, for loving us. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see another day. We have told you thank you, Lord Jesus, for all those things that we were holding in our mind and in our heart, Lord. And now there's things that we need from you, Lord Jesus. We're asking you, Lord, to heal, to protect, to deliver, to save, Lord Jesus. We're asking, Lord Jesus, for you to comfort someone. There are so many needs, Lord Jesus, not just our needs, but needs of those around us. And we are coming to you, Lord, and we are bringing all those asks, even the ones that weren't said out loud, Lord Jesus, in our minds and in our heart. We trust and we have faith in you, Lord Jesus, to answer our prayers. 
Lastly, Lord, we ask you to be with us today in Sunday school. Open our minds, Lord Jesus, and our ears so that we can hear and learn about you, Lord Jesus. Help us to retain the information, not just for ourselves, Lord, but so we can share it with someone else. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, it is time to dive into this quarter's lesson. Lesson nine, Jesus is arrested. This lesson can be found in John chapter 18, verses one through 13. Our golden text can be found in John chapter 18, verse nine, that the same might be fulfilled, which he spake. Of them which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Judas led guards and soldiers to arrest Jesus. Jesus. Jesus knew all that was about to happen in the hours before he would give his life for us on the cross. Even before his arrest, Jesus treated the safety of his disciples more importantly than his own safety. Jesus identified himself as the person the guards and the soldiers were looking for. He then protected his disciples by telling the guards to let them go. Peter lashed out with a small sword. He cut off the ear of one of the men. But Jesus did not need Peter to save him. Jesus's purpose for coming into the world was to save others. He came to save all who would put their trust in him as savior. Jesus knew that there was something much more important than delivering himself from the guards and soldiers. People need to be delivered from sin. This was Jesus' reason for coming to earth. This lesson is about sacrifice. Yes, sacrifice. Do you know what it means to sacrifice? Jesus made a great sacrifice when he allowed himself to be arrested. And listen, yes, I said allowed himself to be arrested because God is all powerful. He can do anything but fail. So Jesus could have delivered himself from the guards, from the soldiers. As we heard in the lesson, Peter tried to save Jesus from the soldiers, but Peter could not save Jesus. It was not the plan. Jesus had to be sacrificed for our sins. He came in this world for us, to save us. He did not need to be saved. He was just returning to his heavenly home. So he gave his life. He gave his life so that we now, today, who trust in him, who believe in him, who live by his word as it is written in the Bible, can have everlasting life so that our sins can be forgiven. We have to be made free before we can enter heaven. And that's what Jesus did by allowing himself to get arrested and giving his life on the cross. He sacrificed. He sacrificed. You might see your parents sacrifice sometimes. They might sacrifice food if there isn't enough so that you can eat or time so they can do the things that are more important, like hanging with their family. So they may put something else aside so that they can make time for their family. They're making a sacrifice for their money. They may do things with their money as a sacrifice for their family's need or for your need. Sacrifices happen every day but not like the sacrifice that Jesus made. He was betrayed. He was betrayed and arrested, but that was the plan. That was the plan for his life for ours. Such a great price to pay, but it was the sacrifice that allows us to be able to choose to follow Christ. We still have a choice. And we have to make sure we make that choice known unto God. We have to let him know that we believe in him, that we trust in him. And we do that each and every day when we are obedient to our parents. 
when we are obedient to those who have rule over us, when we're living by God's word, when we're loving one another, when we're praying, when we're learning about Jesus through the Bible. That's how we let Jesus know each and every day that we believe in him, that we trust in him. We have to lean on him for the things that we need. It's Jesus. It's God that wakes us up every morning. We don't do that ourselves. So we have to trust that God knows exactly what we need. There is a plan. And it started when Jesus came down from heaven to earth so that we might live. Make that choice. Trust and believe in God so that you can have eternal life. He is our savior. He is our only savior, the only one that can save us. Boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson and that you learned something that you can apply to your life and share with someone else. That's right. We are to be sharing the gospel of God. That's right. The gospel of Jesus Christ is not just for us, but it is for our friends, our family, our neighbors, so that we can help them live like God wants us to live. If you would like to be a part of the upcoming Sunday School lesson, please email me at CaseySenoviaFisher at gmail.com. You can record yourself reading one of the upcoming golden texts or sharing what you're thankful for. If you would like more information about service and events with Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church, please visit our church website at www.gbtac.org or call the church office at 513-681-9665. Thank you again, boys and girls, for joining me today. And I hope to see you next week for another lesson. God bless.